The tariff war and the tech war uh, continues, especially between the U.S. and China. And CNBC Sherry Kang and Elaine Yu are joining us now to talk about what they are hearing on the ground there. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Marty. And yes, I mean, there are just lots of conversations. And uh, I've got my partner at Summer Davos, Elaine Yu, of course, our China reporter as well. And uh, you've been really roaming around this massive convention center in Tianjin, China. Any good lines that you've been getting in terms of what's going on between the U.S. and China? There have been just so many layers of competition as well. Yeah. Good morning, Sherry. So I had a good conversation with Yang Yanqing of China-based economist who's focused on AI. So we talked about this tech rivalry and how open source models are speeding up the competition between the two countries. So let's take a listen at what she said. After the deep sick, there are uh, good uh, points and bright points and also maybe the danger points, uh, dang, 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 dangerous points. Uh, as to the good one, bright point is that we can move faster. But as to some concern and uh, some dangerous part that we don't know how to control the AI and we cannot rely on AI itself totally. So if you move too fast, then they uh, align and also it's the uh, uh, alignment issue and also safety issue and uh, value issue, a lot of things still there. So I think that maybe uh, comp competition is very important, and also competition between the China and the United States is a good thing, but maybe we need to move a little, little slower. So when she says alignment, it means incorporating human elements, ethical issues into AI. And she is saying that it's good that there's competition uh, between China and the U.S. because that fosters innovation, right? But she's worried that open source models are speeding it up so fast that it doesn't have time to take into account all the ethical and human implications. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was really interesting that she said that. And she's saying we should maybe slow, d slow down the process a bit. That's very interesting because when we're talking about AI, you know, faster development, Element and the next level of growth, it seems to be really the right answer, but she's actually saying the otherwise. And that actually reminds me of our recent interview, Karen Howe, she's the author of this um, latest book, um, Empire of AI, and mostly it was about open AI, but the conversation in that book is the narrative playing out within the U.S. tech world is what about China? They're doing this. They're not regulating, so we need to go faster. So that could actually lead to the scenario where AI models in the United States, in the Western world, could go sort of unregulated, unfettered, and that could actually lead to a scenario where we're sort of letting go of some important considerations that we need to be making as well. So that is pretty interesting. Yeah, those points dovetail well. And what's also interesting is that she told me that she predicts in about five years, China and the U.S. will have to come together to talk about how to deal with like artificial super intelligence, which is when AI surpasses human capabilities and like human AI interaction. So it sounds like a movie script in a way, like how can the two powers come together and make sure AI doesn't take over humanity? but she thinks that's actually going to be reality in a few years. Well, that would be one AI summit that we will be watching. But, you know, what's going on right now uh, is, of course, this massive fragmentation, and that's happening sort of on so many different layers. But I actually had a panel here at uh, Summer Davos talking about the future of manufacturing, and this was a very interesting sound uh, coming from chairman of a CTL, a TCL, excuse me, Mr. Li Dongsheng. And, of course, we're talking about Chinese electronics, a company making TVs and washing machines. So you can imagine the impact of the tariffs. But uh, let's first listen into uh, how frustrated, perhaps, with this reality uh, of uh, tariffs and uh, continue the conversation. Take a listen. The U.S. has long been a major market for us, and under the shadow of these tariffs, that's been heavily affected. We have reorganized our global supply chain to reduce the impact of that shock, and we have more motivation to develop other business as well. I think this reorganization will hopefully lead to clearer rules rather than the situation at the moment, where I don't know what's going to be different any time I turn on the news. And it's very difficult to plan for the long term at the moment. 
So I think in that one hour panel, a lot of times that we talked about the uncertainty and we just don't know what kind of world that we live in or the, the latest news cycle. Every time we wake up, we look at the news alerts and figure out what is the reality of that day because things are changing so fast and so much. But another um, headline that I would have grabbed from Mr. Uh, Chairman Lee Dongsheng is true globalization is true localization these days. So I think maybe we'll end up with these regional silos for manufacturing rather than this sort of you know, beautiful vision of globalization because that's not really working in 2025. Yeah, and it's just also so hard to plan, right? So you have nearshoring, reshoring, all these trends that are, you know, we've been talking about that a couple of years back, but it looks like these are just going to be structural shifts. And, and I was talking to someone yesterday, just a participant, about how companies are dealing with supply chains. And, and she said, you know, it's so hard to plan that, you know, it's not easy to move your supply chain to another place when you've invested in, say, ASEAN. And she thinks that, you know, who knows if the tariffs will stay, especially if it's not China, right? So, and she was kind of just saying, maybe companies will just suck it up and eat the tariffs. Eat the tariffs, yes. 